Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing now that thou doest these things? Y'all see that? Now I've got to cover this too. Because this is just another thing that just, I, I, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of hearing people say this. They say it all the time and it just drives me nuts. Okay, there's lots of things I hear that are wrong and I'm patient. And I, but there's some things that they just, they trigger something in me. And it just irks me to no end. I'm tired of hearing, I, I'm just going to lose one of these days when I hear it. I am tired of hearing people say the Jews require a sign. I am so tired of hearing people say that. I mean, I told you all about the crazy doctrine I heard at that conference about the dead rising 40 days, the dead in Christ rising 40 days before the rapture. I, I told you all about that. I was telling people about that and how ridiculous that was. And there was no video proof of it. So I had went online to see if I can find video proof of that. And I went and I, I found a sermon where he preached that same lunacy. And I was reading the comments on it. And some woman on there, she left a comment on there and she, she it said, I love Sam Gippen. What a study I'm about to get into on this one. The Jew requires a sign and what a sign it would be. She's, you know, cause he's saying when God raises them from the dead, that's going to be a sign. Hey, y'all better get ready. Jesus is about to come back. And she said, the Jews require a sign. What a sign that would be. You know why she said that? Because she hears these prophecy preachers all the time going around saying, you know, the Jews require a sign for thing. Another thing they say that for, they, you know, the, the pre-trib people, they teach that when we get raptured out, that's going to be a sign to the Jews and that's going to provoke them to jealousy. They're going to see how God raptures us and they get left behind and they are, they're going to see that and it's going to cause them to turn to Christ and 144,000 of them are going to get saved. And they're going to go evangelize the world and they'll say, because the Jews require a sign and notice right here in this story, what did they do when Jesus came in and he quotes Bible to them? He quotes old Testament to them, you know, and he says, you know, my house should be called a house of prayer. And then he tells them, but you've made it into a den of thieves. He was quoting a verse from the Old Testament. That should have been all they needed. They should have listened just to that. But what did they do? Let's see a sign. Show us a sign because the Jews require a sign. But notice what Jesus said. He said, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. Okay. And we all know what he was talking about there. They didn't know what he was talking about. But look at... 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21. 1 Corinthians 1, and verse 21, it says, For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Jews require a sign. There it is. And the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness, but unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. Okay? Did it say anything in there about the Jews require a sign, and so God's going to give them a sign? No, it says that's a stumbling block to the Jews. That's why most of them don't get saved, because I want a sign. Well, God's not going to give them a sign. God's not going to give, God will, is not going to give them a sign. The only sign that the Jews will ever get was already done when Jesus destroyed the temple, his body, and three days later, he raised it from the dead. And they didn't believe that. And they will never believe any, they won't believe anything else. If they won't believe that, they won't believe anything else. Look at what it says in Luke chapter 16. Turn over to Luke chapter 16 and verse 27. Then said he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou would send him, talking about Lazarus, to my father's house, for I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham saith unto him, they have Moses and the prophets. That's talking about the Old Testament. Uh, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto them, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. 
And guess what? That got proven 100% true when Jesus rose from the dead and they didn't believe him either, did they? They didn't believe it. One did rise from the dead. Jesus rose from the dead and they didn't believe him. So right here it says in Luke, they're not going to believe if one rose from the dead. The Jews, they kept asking for a sign because the Jews require a sign. Jesus said, you're not getting a sign except the sign of Jonas. He was three days and three nights in the belly. I'll be three days, and three nights in the heart of the earth. Same sign as the destroy this temple in three days. I'll raise it up. The only sign God was going to give was his resurrection and it didn't work. Why? Because we get saved when we believe on Christ by faith. If you have to see somebody rise from the dead, you're not having faith, are you? And I did. I heard it right from the mouth of Sam Gitt. He said that I know what it says, you know, in Luke about, you know, they're not going to believe, they, you know, if, even if one rose from the dead. But don't you think some are going to believe? No. Absolutely. The Bible says they won't. And then you have these poor, pathetic people out there that listen to these prophecy preachers going around. The Jews require a sign. The Jews require a sign. And they hear that. Oh man, that's, that's, yep. That's what God's going to do. Cause the Jews require a sign. They hear the pre-trib people. Yep. The rapture, you know, that that's going to be the sign for the Jews. That way the Jews know, cause the Jews require a sign. Read your Bible people. Just read, read the whole thing. Stop just focusing on one little line and one little verse. Read the whole context. I'm telling you, one of these days, I'm just going to spaz out, all right? I haven't got up and thrown a tomato in a church service yet, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I think next up, I won't throw a tomato. I usually I don't usually carry them, but I'm going to throw a songbook or something, all right? Because, this, listen, this is ridiculous. We, we cannot let people get away with being this foolish with the Word of God and this careless with the Word of God, that people can be that irresponsible and absolutely moronic about simple scriptures and make up these crazy doctrines and say that fits because the Bible says the Jews require a sign. Listen, even if the Jews require a sign didn't mean what these people say it means, God never said he was going to do that, raise people from the dead 40 days, give them, you know, give them more. I mean, that's just, it's absolutely nuts. But that is what they do. The Jews do require a sign, but God's not going to give it to them. And that's why many of them don't get saved. Yes, if we would, you know, if, if you went and witnessed to most Jews and say, if you asked them, hey, if I, I could show you Jesus, if I could do a miracle, would you believe? They would tell you yes. But, here, but here's the thing. God's not going to give you the ability to do that. Now, there is somebody that's going to come that's going to do many signs and lying wonders. And guess who's going to buy into it? The Jews. Why? Because the Jews require a sign and the Antichrist will give them signs and they will believe him. And but, you know, the Bible is so clear, folks. It, it's so right. But people, when you, when you have an agenda, that you're trying to shove down people's throats. I mean, you are you're just going to have to mangle the scriptures and, and it's happening. And it does. Man, it just there's just some things that really get my goat. And that's one of the things that that does. So anyway.